Oh, he's going in. Oh my god. Two crabs are loving the new home. Take Pretty much two. Two little claws. And the bass wanted. Oh! No! My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it. Stay wildin'. What's up, my Walden people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley. All right, my Walden people, thanks for tuning in on today's episode. On today's episode, it's going to be fairly simple. We're going to do a fiddler crab tank setup. I'll show you how to take care of them, how to set up a tank. I'll make it happen. So enough of me talking. Let's get right into this. And of course, let's get it. All right, let's take a look at them, guys. As you guys can see, these are the fiddler crabs. If you guys remember, I had a video not too long ago with P. Diddy, and my boy P. Diddy was destroying some of these fiddler crabs. Here's a quick clip of it if you missed it. That was the final blow that finished them off. Oh my god. Alright. That little boy's a champion. Alright, now back to these fiddler crabs. Alright, take a look at these fiddler crabs. The term fiddler crab actually refers to about a hundred different species of crabs that look like this. They're called fiddler crabs because if you guys take a look at the males, that's the male right over there. Ooh, he's doing something to the female. Okay, let's zoom out right now. <laughs> the term fiddler refers to the actual big claw right there. It kind of resembles a, a fiddle or a violin if you look at it to the side. Meanwhile, the females, they just have pretty much two. Two little claws in the front. Alright guys, so in today's episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to set up a tank for them. If not, if you guys remember my Fiddler Crab Terrarium, and it had the blue rocks made it pop. Uh, you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about, so let's go down memory lane so I can show you very quickly. The Fiddler Crabs are loving their new home. Take a look at them here in Fiddler Island. Oh, look at that one. And I can't wait to see what happens. I, oh! Hopefully they mate, hopefully they have a good time. I actually did get the job done, but it was a little bit too big. So now I'm kind of downscaling it, and I'm going to show you guys how to how to pretty much make a 10 gallon tank a beautiful home for your fiddler. You're gonna need a filter. Not too much filter, not too, not too big of a filter. I'm using a 10 gallon tank. By the way, you guys are gonna need a 10 gallon tank. Apart from that, you'll need some rocks. Uh, I have two different types of filters. I'm deciding which one would be most ideal for my tank. Of course, you'll need some fiddler crabs and some sand. Fiddler crabs are brackish water creatures, so you'll need some marine salt in order to make your fresh water turn into brackish water. I like using instant ocean. I use that for my I figure eight puffer Zeus to make sure his brackish water is a okay. Far from that, you'll need some decorations. It seems like I have everything I need here except um, sand. All right, so let's go get some of that aquarium gravel sand very quickly. All right, so I got my gravel. We're good to go. Let's go back home. All right, so I ended up getting this supernatural premium aquarium substrate. The reason I got this is because it says it's safe for salt water. It's very fine. I feel like the fiddler crabs will be able to pretty much barrel and have a great time. So let's just wash this very quickly. We'll be good to go. Oh my God, look at how fine this is. Oh, that's a drop of sweat. But this is just so, so fine. All right, so it's always important to rinse thoroughly. Rinse your aquarium gravel very nice. All right, so everything's nice and washed. Have these nice rocks. Just gonna put a thin layer of rocks. Like that. Right before I add my sand. Uh, just to give the tank a little bit of decoration and make it look just a little nicer, in my opinion. It's a thin layer. Try to cover the bottom just like that. Alright, there we go. And now, I'm going to add the sand. Oh, look at how fine the sand is. Just going to put it right on top. Now, what was the point of the rocks? And there you go. We're just going to add the rest of the sand on this side to try to make a nice little slope. Most of the water will be right over here, while there'll be a nice slope that goes into the water. That way, the fiddler crabs can pretty much swim in the water, as well as come up. And I'll add this right here for decoration. Now, I'm going to start adding my water, and then we'll be good to go. This is about two gallons of brackish water, fresh water mixed with marine salt. Start adding it layer by layer. Here's where the water is going to actually be. We'll get the remainder of the sand from here. Just slowly drop it in there. All right, so much for slowly. All right, so far so good. What I'm going to do now is add some plants. Just to just have them free floating here. 
All right, let's take a look at it. So this is almost the end result. All I need to do is add the filter right over here. There's about, I'd say, one or two gallons of water. There's a lot of sand where they can just pretty much climb, dig. They can chill right over here around this structure. Uh, ooh, okay, they're all balled up. All balled up. All right, this one right here we're going to grab. Ooh, oh, oh, okay, he got me. As you guys can see, I'll take a close look at it. It's a female. I'll drop the female right over here. And wow, look at her go. Let's grab him by the claw. Ooh, okay. Every time I mention that claw, he tries to say something. Okay, we got him. Ooh, okay. You go somewhere. Okay, shouldn't take that long. And we gotta be gentle, because again, this is our only male. Gotta get him cornered and... Ah! We got the big claw. We got it secured. Perfect. So as you guys can see, this is the male. Take a close look at it, at the claws. Now we'll just release them nice and steady. The pretty one right there. Look at that purple on the shell. The healthy one too. Okay, it's on my hands and now it's in. Let's drop them in. All right, so what makes this perfect is there's water and there's land. And actually, fitter crabs spend a lot of their time in the water. And sometimes when they're tired of being in the water, they'll go retreat and bury into the sand. You'll often see these fiddle crabs moving their arms around, moving their claws around. That's pretty much their way of communicating and saying, hey, what's up? Uh, you want to make sure not to add too many fiddler crabs in a tank. Like, this was way too much. This was, like, overcrowding when I had them here before. But again, this was temporary. I'd say five to six fiddler crabs are A-OK -okay in this li nice little 10-gallon tank. You just want to make sure you provide them with enough food and there's no overcrowding because that causes a lot of stress. As far as feeding these fitter crabs, it's very easy. Uh, they're pretty much scavengers and they eat any bit of organic matter they can find. What I've been feeding them are shrimp pellets as well as um, carnivore pellets. And they seem to just destroy it. Actually, let me do that. Let me do a feeding real quick. Alright. Here's some carnivore pellets. Drop them right here and in the water and see what happens. Alright. Oh, as you guys can see, look at this one. Got its claw on it. And meanwhile, the other one right there is just chomping on them. Chomping on these it's carnivore pellets. Yeah, so like I said before, feeding them is very simple. You just take a couple of bites of your carnivore pellets, sink, um, shrimp pellets, any organic matter they can find, and just tear it up. And whatever they don't eat, you actually want to remove. If you don't, that's not going to be great for the water. Now look at this guy. Oh, he's going in. Okay, going in underwater. He got both his claws on it and destroying it bit by bit. It's hard to see, but he's literally taking pieces and pieces in his claws and bringing them in his mouth. Look at that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, look at the crabs go. Oh, hey, guys, take a look at my babies. Okay, the fiddle crab is doing A-OK. -okay. We'll look at the filter shortly, but take a look at this arowana, tiger shovel nose. Look at them go. I think it's time for a feeding, guys. You guys want to see a feeding? Whether you want to or not, we're about to make it happen. Oh, look at that iridescent shark. Ooh, he's getting thick. And where's the channel catfish? She's the other albino, right over there. It's kind of hard to see because, yeah, I need to clean my pool pond. But it is what it is, guys. Enjoy what you can see. All right, I think I just saw the gourami. Yep, we did. There's the gourami. And look at the lily pads. The lily pads are thriving. The Firefox ones are thriving anyway. It seems like the green ones are being eaten. All right, Olympia. Olympia's looking green as well, but let's see if anybody wants to come up and eat. If you slap the water, they shall come. Hey, oh my god, look at Scar. Scar turned into a torpedo. Try that again. Who's coming, who's coming for, ooh, the, the bass wanted it, the bass wanted it. Oh, oh, that was Bassy. Bassy wanted it, Bassy was trying to fight for its dear life. All right, guys, I'm gonna clean my pool pond shortly. But enjoy what you can see. Okay, let's see, let's see. Ah, uh, look at that. Come on, Scar. Ooh, come on. What you doing, Scar? You hungry or not? That's right, boy. Eat up. All right, let's see one more person here. On camera, anyway. Who's it gonna be? Oh, my God. That's giant. Oh, okay. Okay, relax, relax. Everyone's gonna get fed. Okay. And just a disclaimer, my fish are healthy. The pool pond, it just has a lot of algae. The algae is not hurting them. The algae is not affecting them in any way. They're still getting fresh flowing water coming 24-7. I've just been working a lot, so I haven't had the opportunity to clean them. 
to clean the pool ponds, but the pool ponds are A-OK, -okay, and the fish are obviously healthy. Ooh! Oh my god! Okay, he's ready. Oh, he, he will jump. He's airborne. <laughs> okay, we'll wait till he comes back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright, the arowana was not playing games. He fought out the silver arowana, and now everyone's following him. But don't worry, guys. There's more where that came from. If you're hungry, you go and eat. I guess if you're an arowana, you're gonna eat, because no one else seems to be getting a bite. Alright, about to throw a handful of fish. Make it rain and see who gets it. Okay. It wasn't as explosive as I thought, but okay, they're coming, they're coming now. Tiger Shovel Nose, Iridescent Shark, Tiger Shovel Nose Hybrid, they're all coming. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. Alright, I added this beautiful piece of driftwood. Now the moment you guys have all been waiting for, to pretty much see the waterfall. AKA the filter. Let's plug it and get it going. Alright, let's plug it. All right, plugged, and there we go. There we go. A nice little waterfall. Look at it, look at it go. Not bad, not bad at all. So we got some constant filtration going on here. Crabs are living life. Seems like they pretty much ate all their food while we were feeding the fish. Ah, uh, some of them are still eating. Like this one right over here, and that one too. And the filter's beautiful. I'll probably put a rock right there. That way it doesn't move the sand. All right, put the rock, and there we have it, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, it's beautiful. All right, my Walden people, as you guys can see, it's really, really hot outside, but that's not the point. The point is we did it, guys, and take a look at this beautiful, beautiful fiddler tank. <laughs> oh, these are right there. Look at them. They're living life. All right, my Walden people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, stay wildin'. Yeah, yeah. And these will be the sacrifices. Wait, 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 something's missing, guys. The blue rocks, come on. You know we couldn't do this fiddle crab tank without the blue rocks. Perfect place for the blue rocks will be right here in this corner. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, you viewer. Before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.